The last feature we'll talk about is dynamic ads. This is a setting and it should really be called dynamic remarketing ads. This is not to be confused with dynamic search ads, which are completely different. You might have thought, oh, is this dynamic search ads for the display network? The answer is no, this is dynamic remarketing ads. Let me take you briefly through the process here. It's asking for a feed. So there is, so first of all, what is this? When somebody visits your site, they'll maybe visit a product page or a key page on your site pertaining to your specific products and services. What you can do is show ads that are tailored to the exact pages that they visited. I'm sure you've seen this where you were looking at a super specific product online and then you saw later an ad that showed you that very specific product. Well, that's how you do it. This is dynamic remarketing ads. So I'm gonna close this. You basically need a feed. A feed is a file that has rows and columns. That's all you should be thinking about. They are meant to show ads tailored to your site visitors that are very specific and it allows you to scale. So you can create very specific and highly unique ads based on the pages people have visited. This is a great resource here on how to actually go through the process. So you first, let me expand this actually. Let's do a brief run through. You identify your business type, okay? They have different verticals. The reason they have different verticals is because the feed attributes are different depending on what vertical you're in. So for example, flights. Uh, the flight feed would only be, the, the attributes that are available in the flight feed would only be relevant to the flight feed. You wouldn't care like, what airport are you if you are looking for a job or you know something like that. That's a really bad example. but you get the idea, super specific. For the most part, people choose retail. And then there's a reason that this is set up in a certain way. So let's say we were retail. So we chose our business type, we're retail. For retail only, you then have to create a Google Merchant Center account. That's important because then you go through linking Google Merchant Center account to your AdWords account. After that, the feed will be available after you've uploaded your feed to Google Merchant Center, then you can create the campaign. So here we would, let's, be, let's back out here. We would come into this, it says, choose sales for the goal, display for the campaign type, standard display, and then it says additional settings, choose dynamic ads, and that's the section we're talking about now. Then you would select a data feed. So sales, display, Standard display campaign, continue. Let's close all these up. And then let's expand additional settings. Click dynamic ads, select this. We would choose retail and then we would hit save. So you might be wondering, well, okay, how, how does that feed, where does that feed come from exactly? Well, it'll come from this section here. Create a feed and you can upload it into your business data section that is located in your account under tools set up business data i created a test one here just so you can see what it looks like the rows are the products or services the columns are the attributes you can see this is removed but if you wanted to create a new one you would just go up to tools business data add these new feed items. If your merchant center is linked, I can't remember. I think you don't need to create a feed because your feed's already in merchant center and you can just choose that, uh, if I recall correctly. Then you have to go, this is the hardest part of this entire thing. You have to tag your website. There are instructions here that are just beyond the scope of this, but you want the pages to be tagged in a certain way, and that's how you know what pages people have visited, and that's how you use remarketing to remarket to them. And then you would create responsive ads as a last step, and you can even, you can even use Google Web Designer. That's a software that Google has put together for creating dynamic ads um, or just general HTML5 ads. So anyways, this video is overkill, I'm sure. 
I just want you to be familiar with all these settings, even if you don't plan to use them, because why not? It makes you a more versatile marketer.